All right, man. Tell me, tell me about some of the pros you've dealt to. Um, like so far, I dealt to Andy Black, who was a really nice guy. Nice, nice. We were playing. I think it was uh, twenty-five fifty. Hold him, hold him, hold him. Okay. I dealt to fucking. I think it's, his name is Brandon Cantu. If I'm not yes, that would be his name. Some young kid. He was playing. Uh, He's from the main event a few years ago. Yeah. yeah. Twenty-five fifty PLO. He was also a nice kid. And I dealt to Andy Block for one hand in a tournament. Seven stud. And that was awesome. I uh, I dealt to E Dog. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. And a Melanie Wisner. Uh, she was a bitch. Was she? Yeah. I'm glad that's getting on interview because the world needs to know that she was so stuck up and full of herself as a poker player and as a person. That's horrible. It was horrible. She looked at me like, how dare I ask her for an Annie when I told her Annie twice because she for, she was forgetting and she had her earphones in. And she just looked at me like, how dare I talk to her like that? Like, that's her table. I'm like, no, this is my table. I'm the dealer here. Yeah. Um, okay. What, what did you think about, um, I don't know if you've seen a lot of weird action as far as the betting and raising in tournaments, if you've dealt any no limit hold'em tournaments. I've, I dealt one hand. Oh, for real? Tournament and it was seven studs. Like the raises were all, a lot of tables were, were raising like 2.1 times the size of the big blind and it was actually effective. But then on other tables, you'd see people coming out for like three or four times the big blind and then four barreling behind it and still like four or five players to the flop. And it was so insane because they're playing for like $5,000 and I'm seeing yeah. moves with queen six suited. You know, I'm seeing moves with like, I see ace queen raise, I see queen six just flat ship it for 35 big blinds, and then I see ace queen snap call as if they couldn't be behind either. And I'm sitting here thinking, I was in a cash game last night online playing two four cent, and I didn't call after I bet 12 cents and somebody popped it to 80 cents. I just folded my ace queen suited, and that was for a dollar of my net worth. Yeah. But um, it's kind of crazy though, isn't it? Like they're paying us for this. Like, I asked my floor manager, I said, do you want me to give you a check? And he said, why is that? I said, because you just paid me to go deal to Eric Lindgren. It hardly seems reasonable. <laughs> like, Eric Lindgren's a really nice guy, too. He, we sit there, and we talked about the heat, and uh, it was the night that you were talking, like, you didn't want to know about the basketball game, and I was sitting there chatting it up about, like, he's a Mav, that he's going for the Mavs. He had them covering, and, and I was betting with the heat, and we were sitting there, like, you know, going back and forth. I was like, I don't know, man. Dirk's got a nice jumper, but how's Dirk going to take on three superhumans? <laughs> But it's true. No, dude, it's just awesome. Like, I just wanted to get like your thoughts and like who you dealt to. I'll edit it out and I'll have it looking up. I'll clean them. What else? Uh, anything else? Anything else? Oh, um, like did you? You? We were both nervous about it going in, but once you sit down and you're actually in the box, even if you're dealing to a superstar, it's like you realize, oh wait, I've done this thousands of hands before. Yeah, I mean, and it's you, you know you've settled in quick. Yeah, like once you settle in, it's easy. Like the, yeah. the money is just bigger values of chips. Like you can't mm -hmm. picture it as money. It's just like. Yeah, I, I've noticed that people get real nervous. Like, I don't. I yeah. request to go deal the big games because, to me, they're just chips going in there at the, at the cash tables. Like, I don't care if I'm dealing 25-50 or 1-2. Yeah, it's the same shit. 1-2, actually, I do because 1-2 tips better. 1-2 does tip but, better. I, I got a sick tip. I pushed a fucking 50K pot in 25-50 PLO. A 50K a pot? A $50,000 pot, and he gave me a $100 tip. Really? Yeah. Wow. That was insane, though. Fifty thousand playing twenty five fifty. It's they were playing twenty five fifty a hundred mandatory a hundred bun straddle, and uh, yeah, the hand was ridiculous, dude. That sounds insane, dude. Yeah, some young kid and some old dude, the old dude one. Wow. Insane. And tipped you like you know my best night is thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Yeah. Jesus. Um, should I be distraught about that? Because I've dealt a lot of tournament time. Like I've probably had like. I want to say 20 downs in tournament play, like multi-table. You're making more on downs, though. You're you think just, I am? You're not counting the downs, are you? Well, you're yeah. I'm, tips. Yeah, no, I'm not counting downs. Yeah, yeah, I'm counting, like, just my tips. What I what I got have extra in cash at the end of the night before yeah. I spend anything on a bus like, or anything. Yeah, your paycheck is going to be way higher than mine. You think? Because of the downs and shit, yeah. Well, yeah, but I don't actually get those cash. I, I forgot. Do they do that by individual per tournament, or do they do it overall for the whole series and pay everyone per down for the entire amount they make through the series? I think it's I think it's per paycheck. Oh, it's per paycheck. Well, that's not bad. No, so yeah, your paycheck is. So high. you're telling me the only people that will get a share of the 5K prize pool, or the 5K tournament, is the people that actually dealt 5K tournament. And you'll get at the end of the the tournament, or maybe maybe at the end of the year, that's what you get are the tips. Nice. The tips that people give at the tournaments, I think that's what you get at the end of the year. And well, and a, a percentage, like you know, like each time we deal a sit and go, we get our 
our hourly plus our tip plus a percentage yeah. of what they make on the S and G. Yeah, they have a dealer fee or two. Um, and I may 